Australian Open organisers have said no special treatment was given to defending champion Novak Djokovic. This is after he was given a medical exemption from having a COVID vaccination to play at this month's tournament. Yeah, all players and staff must have been vaccinated, but Djokovic was one of a handful of players granted an exemption by an independent panel. The decision to give Djokovic an exemption medically has been criticised by some fellow players. We set up... Tennis Australia set up uh, the first panel and, and that panel was designed, um, made of, of independent doctors, epidemiologists, was designed to assess any application that was received. They were blind applicants that were received. In other words, they, um, no one knew who the applicant was. Uh, that was reviewed and assessed and then passed on to the second panel, uh, which was um, set up by the government uh, for further assessment. This outcome is something that many in the Victorian community will find frustrating uh, and upsetting. But I want to make absolutely clear um, that, uh, as has been the case f the whole time, um, no one uh, is or will be receiving special treatment because of who they are or what they have achieved professionally. We completely understand and empathise with, uh, with, first of all, some uh, People have been upset about the fact that Novak has come in because of his, his statements over the past couple of years around vaccination. Um, however, it's ultimately up to him to discuss with the public his condition, if he chooses to do that, and the reason why uh, he received an exemption. Uh, we as an event, uh, also as a state and as a country, will do everything we possibly can to give everyone an equal and fair opportunity to come into the country. And if, it's, if they come in and they come in through the guidelines that are set forth, uh, and the conditions of which they can compete, uh, then they granted with an exemption. Australia's Prime Minister has also had his say on the decision, putting his faith in the local government to have applied the rules correctly. Well, that is a matter for the Victorian government. They have provided him with an exemption to come to Australia. And so we then act in accordance with that decision. Do you think that's it's appropriate? It that's, well, it's, that's how it works. That's, states provide exemptions for people to enter on those bases and that's been happening for the last two years so there's no change to that arrangement the victorian government have made their decision on that and so i'd have to refer to the victorian government about their reasons for doing so i think it's a disgrace we've all done the right thing we've all gone out and got our our jabs and our boosters and um, we have someone that's come from overseas and all of a sudden he's He's been exempt and can play, and I think it's an absolute disgrace, and I won't be watching it. My first instinct was it, it's not fair, but I did read that it was a double blind sort of assessment, so who knows? On the basis, it seems unfair. I suppose whilst I support the Australian Open and the money it generates for the, for the city and everything like that, I, I really don't agree with there being one rule for one and another rule for others.